Leonid Bershidsky is a Bloomberg View contributor. In his column today, he wrote the following, and I quote, The terrorists have on at least two levels already won. They've scared a number of powerful news organizations into submission, and they've stoked European Islamophobia, end quote. What, in your opinion, must be done starting today to counter this? Well, I'm, I'm less worried about uh, cowing uh, publications into submission, although I do think that everyone ought to uh, think hard and be very prudent about what it is they publish uh, so that they don't uh, overheat the situation. Uh, I think the Islamophobia question is an important one, and uh, it's a it's a real time for Europe's leaders and uh, also for its uh, religious leaders, its political leaders and its religious leaders to think hard about what they can do uh, to deal with this phenomenon because in a period of uh, economic stagnation in a period of strong anti-immigrant sentiment. Uh, this threatens uh, social peace in a, in a very important way. And uh, the rise of parties like UKIP, like uh, um, uh, Marina Le Pen, like Pegida, uh, all of these uh, phenomena are uh, worrisome when it comes to relations between mm -hmm. Muslim minority communities and uh, the countries they live in. Mr. Ambassador, yesterday I interviewed Farah Pandith of the Council on Foreign Relations. She told me that one area societies need to focus on is preventing radicalization from taking root by reaching out to the most vulnerable young immigrants. Why isn't enough being done to integrate them into societies so they don't feel marginalized and become easy prey for Islamist recruiters? Well, it is being done in many of these countries. Uh, it's an area of uh, policy that hasn't been terribly well developed. Uh, it requires a lot of money, and uh, these budgets are tight right now uh, due to the economic downturn. And it's uh, an area in which uh, policymakers are uh, learning by doing, and it's quite, it's quite difficult, uh, a challenge. And uh, I have a feeling that this is going to concentrate their mind on it more. You know, working with immigrant communities has not been Europe's uh, strong suit. These are countries that historically have not seen themselves as uh, immigration countries, and these communities are often quite insular. So it is uh, uh, an urgent need, but it is not something that uh, there's a textbook on right now.